what is up guys it's Mike Jim I'm here and welcome to my YouTube channel and most of all welcome to episode 3 of my uh, third run of the Gothic 3 game the playthrough of the Hashishin Dark Mage slash the Serpent of Baleard. In this particular episode we're gonna go to Cape Dunn and uh, do the minor quests there aside from the whole arena thing you know the arena thing will be done later once I have uh, learned the capabilities of fighting with dual wields, so uh, let's go to Cape Dunn. Now first we're gonna go to a small group of bandits who have uh, uh, Ukras's trading route, uh, t trading route, t trading goods, goddammit. <laughs> Alright, so let's take care of these bandits. Didn't that guy had a shield?
Rest in peace, sucker. Ukrasa's warehouse, uh, good. It's a bit laggy. With 16 gigabytes of RAM. <coughs> a bit surprising again, but uh, I suppose it's due to the old age of the game. I'm not quite sure. Alright, so let's drink uh, some Mizu, aka water, and then uh, we'll continue with eliminating the wolves and whatnot. Alright, so let's talk with Jens the Hunter, which is this guy over here, and then, uh... There aren't many travelers now that the orcs are here. Have you lost your way, or are you headed for the village? What village? So you lost your way after all. If you keep following the path to the coast, you'll get to Cape Dunn. And what will I find there? Same thing you find everywhere these days. Orcs and mercenaries. Maybe you'll find work there if you're lucky. What are you doing here? I'm a hunter. But times are tough. Too many wolves and not enough game. Luckily, the orcs gave me a really good price for wolf skins. Could you teach me how to hunt? Of course I could. But what's in it for me? What do you need? Bring me ten wolf skins that I can sell. The orcs in Cape Dunn have plenty. And then I'll show you how to hunt. Show me your goods. Now, you also need a couple of wolf skins for uh, one of the orcs at uh, Faring, I believe it was. So if you get them, make sure to keep them, because you need about uh, 12 wolf skins for this guy, which you can find in Cape Dunn, and then you will need another 20 or so for uh, 
one of the orcs at pairing. So if you get them, keep them until you have completed those quests. To make it a bit more, you know, easier for yourself. I'm relatively close to leveling up. The only downside is there will be around five to six hungry wolves. So uh, it's gonna be tough, you know, but uh, we'll we'll manage, I suppose. We'll have to manage. Waste of useful plants for potions, but uh, it is what it is. That's what I called fast regeneration, my friend. Yeah, they're tough cookies to crumble.
Bugs are everywhere. Sorry, Jens, but uh, I first need to heal. It's gonna take some time. Now keep in mind if the ends die and then the uh, quest will fail so Oh he's all right and I could use the uh, meat that I just fried in combat Miserable creature. You know, it's all right that he gets the XP. There will be plenty of XP to take around. Still not all the wolves, I still need about four I think. There are three at least in the mountains with one of the escaped slaves. And there is another one up here somewhere. So, four. No one will miss you. All right, so those are taken care of. The only ones that I still need are within the mountains, but uh, I will get Cyrus's help with that one. Could have taken him earlier, but uh, you know. At the end of the day, they have to be killed either way.
All right, so let's go towards this city. Statue of Beliar. Now I'm not level up yet, so I can't invest into uh, Shrine of Beliar. But when it comes to magic, I can go to Amnesia. So about 15 earning points. Depends, of course, because of alternative IE. You know, makes things a bit more expensive on some part, and some part a bit more cheaper, but mostly more expensive. But in the end, full build will be achieved, obviously. And this is the escape uh, slave. Unlike the other two paths where I brought the bugger to Jens the Hunter, I now will make sure, since I need Hushin reputation, that I will deliver him to the guy over there. I'm not quite sure what his name is, but Hushin uh, nevertheless. Gamal. Like you could use a few extra pieces of gold. A few extra pieces of gold is never wrong, my friend. Who are you? A ah, Hashishin, a servant of Beliar. I come from the south, from beyond your borders. I have come to your country to offer the orcs my services as a slave hunter. You're enslaving humans for the orcs? It's a job like any other. Just recently. I even sold the orcs a real paladin. You sold the paladin to the orcs. He's up in the lighthouse. The orcs are interrogating him. He fetched a decent price here, but his equipment was worthless. Some broken armor, a worthless chalice, and a few odds and ends. What do you expect me to do in return for your gold? One of my slaves has escaped. Tarek, that mangy mutt. I can't leave here. And I need someone to go and catch him for me. What about you? You don't look like you're the squeamish sort. Because I am not the squeamish sort. What became of the captured paladin's equipment? It's with Urkras. He gave me a measly 50 gold coins for it. I will catch Herrick for you. Where is he? If I knew that, I would have brought him back, wouldn't I? He's probably still in the vicinity. Someone may have seen him outside of town. A slave hunter's life seems to have its merits. Help me, and I might tell you more about it. Alright, I help you. Because I have to. And it should be enough to level up, which is a win-win. What? Who? What do you want? Go away! Do I have a fried meat? Let me, let me, um... Quickly find a campfire to make fried meat so that I can give it to him in exchange for a couple of healing plants Which I have to do, you know, I have I need about 12 plants give it or take for uh, the smith uh, the smith the alchemist within Cape Dunn and uh, I need as many as I can get afterwards for my own benefit from healing potions Because the gods know that I can certainly use it. Why are you running around here? Relax, friend. I'm only looking for plants. Plants, is it? Got anything worth mentioning? Sure, I have a few healing plants. You wouldn't happen to carry a piece of roast meat by any chance? Sure. Here, take this. Cool. Thanks, man. Here are the healing plants. We would make a great team, you and I. How can I find plants here? Oh, that's easy, provided you know where to look. Like where, for instance? On mountainsides. If you're really lucky, you can find whole fields of plants sometimes. You don't look like an herbalist. All right, stranger, you win. 
I'm a slave. I made it out of Cape Dunn. You found me, but you shouldn't make any rash decisions. I will now take you back to Gamal, your owner. Oh, crap. Hey, don't lose your cool. I'm not looking for trouble. Let's talk. No talking. No talking. You will follow me now. All right. If you can't be persuaded, I will do what you tell me. I'll take you out of here. Good. What can you tell me? I am a local man, so I'm sure there are quite a few things I can help you with. So is it really worth a few measly coins for my head? Or will you help me get out of here? Mm, now, if you do want to, you know, save this guy, deliver him to Jens the Hunter, he will uh, learn, well, he can learn you the true ways of acrobatics so that you can fall from greater heights. Now, since this guy is going to be in a shishin, I gotta deliver him to Kamal. Beliar. Grant me power over spirit and body. I can learn transfer disease, poison, and amnesia. Beliar. But it also costs gold, obviously. And gold is something that I currently do not have. Oh, -ho, a new face. I'm a mercenary. My name is Silas. I am... Another poor devil just trying to get by. I know what it's like. It's the same with all of us. Report to Buford. Maybe he's got some work for you. If I'm lucky, you'll get my job. Who is Buford? He's the boss here. At least of us mercenaries. So, if you aren't exactly an orc and belong to Yurik, he's your only chance to get a foot in the door here. You'll find him at the end of the main street. He's usually standing outside his hut. What are you doing here? I have to watch these slaves. What's in the city? City? Cape Dunn may be a lot of things, but it sure isn't a city. There isn't even a decent bar here. But at least there's work to be had. You'll be all right. I hope so. What is it now, Mora? What's your job in this town? Town? Cape Dunn is a filthy backwater slum. I would rather join my brothers outside Vengard, the capital of your marionette king, than guard this place here. Is there anything you need? Oh, yes. I need peace and quiet in this town, so don't you start any trouble. Stay away from things that aren't yours, and don't beat anyone up unless we say you can. I hope you get my drift, Mora. Certainly. Mora. Do I look like a Mora to you? Ah, my slave, very good. Who knows what trouble he would have gotten himself into. Here, you've earned this bag of gold, and that's for you. I'll deal with you later, pal. Tell me more about the slave hunters. There are various options to gain reputation with the orcs as a human. You can fight in the arena for fame and glory, or you can serve them in other ways. We Hashishin of the desert provide them with fresh workers for everyday jobs and for the digs. So you Hashishin are nothing but mercenaries for the orcs. <laughs> Maybe you should pay a visit to our cities in the desert, my friend. Then you will see for yourself what role the people of the Hashishin are really playing in this world. What are the orcs digging for? Their digs are everywhere across the country. If you want to know what exactly they are looking for, ask them. The Divine Artifacts of Adonis. Show me your goods.
know, you can never go wrong with arrows. Especially if you are early game. What else do you want? Just get lost. Just doing my duty, sir. My duty as a shishin, that is. What's the matter? Haven't you ever seen anyone shoveling pig manure before? And drop that silly grin. Understand? Why don't you do something other than shoveling manure? Why? The orcs made me do it. I told you to wipe that stupid grin off your face. I'm sorry, man. Uh, I'll, I'll add it to my poker face. You weren't always a swineherd, were you? Who among us is what he was before the war? Ask all the humans who refused to give up. I belonged to the militia of this city before the war. Enos knows I would give anything for the good old days. You belong to the rebel underground. Rebels. I hate that word. We are simple citizens, trying not to be subjugated in our own country. How can I support you? Life out here is not without its dangers. So, who should I kill? No, you should get us weapons. Nothing special, just three bundles of weapons. Javier sent me. So, you've already been to Reddick as well? It's good to know that Reddick still exists. Thanks for the news. You're welcome, sir. When will the revolution begin? We won't manage it alone. The orcs outnumber us. A very powerful paladin named Wenzel is being held prisoner up in the lighthouse. With his support, I would take the risk of attacking the orcs here in Cape Dunn. How many bundles of weapons do I have? Two. So I need one more. Wait a moment. What is it? You take what you like, just like a thief, and I like that. Would you be interested in a job? What sort of job? There are a couple of golden goblets in Urcross's warehouse. They want to use them to pay for new slaves. If you see to it that they disappear, I will teach you how to pick locks. Why should I steal for you if you don't even want the booty? We thieves are always on the lookout for people who have a better command of our craft than you do. Who knows? Maybe I could learn something from you. Oh. Tell me more about thieves. We are everywhere and nowhere, always on the lookout for an opportunity. We usually know where there is good stuff to be had, and we also like selling our knowledge. How nice. Isn't it? <laughs> That's why I became a thief. How do I recognize one of you? You will only recognize men of my stripe if you ask the right questions. Just the sort of answer I expected. You haven't been around long, have you? Listen up, then. Whenever you need something, you come to me. The orcs don't trade with just anyone, understand? I see. Do you have work for me? Sure. You can run a few errands for me right away. I need some healing potions. Three should be enough. It's been rather quiet lately here in Cape Dunn, but it can't hurt to be prepared. Never can hurt to be prepared. What the hell is Buford doing here? You're new here, aren't you? Did you come to work for the orcs? Are you in charge here? Yes, but only over the mercenaries. The orcs are the masters of the city. But it's not so bad living as a mercenary for the orcs. What about you? I can use a strong fellow like you. What if I wanted to join the mercenaries? Right. Listen. Your reputation is your hardest currency with the orcs. An orc sits at the top of every city in the kingdom. Here in Cape Dunn, that's Yurik. If you can get the orcs to let you talk to the top orc, you've got it made. Gamal's slave is back. He has nothing but good things to say about you. What have you got for me to do? There are a lot of hungry wolves roaming around outside the city. Now and then, they like to eat a couple of slaves. This makes the orcs angry. 
find the hungry wolves and do them in. How do I increase my reputation with the orcs? Make yourself useful. Show the orcs that you've got it, even though you're only a human. Very simple. Eventually, you'll be admitted to Yurik's presence. I'll be following your exploits. I bet you does. One of the swine herds belongs to the rebels. Well, that may be, but I've got enough problems. You'd better tell the orc leader Yurik yourself. Would you teach me how to fight? Now I could use a bit more strength um, due to the fact of staff. The staff will be a bit more damage related but um, for now I will invest into magical capabilities if you will. I would turn right around and get out of here if I were you. Why? There's nothing going on here man. No gold, no women and we're out of booze more often than not. Can you imagine guard duty with no booze? The only entertainment we ever get is the arena fights up by the tower. What would you rather do besides being on guard duty at night? Wage a hefty battle against that bandit scum. That's what I would like. What exactly do you mean? Never heard of Ortega? He's the boss of the bandits in the coastal region. Tough bunch, those bandits. I would just love to sort them out. Do you always whine like that? Give me a bottle of booze and the two of us will be the best of friends. Deckard won't part with anything, that's skinflint. Here, I've got a bottle of booze for you. Thanks, man. That hits the spot. All right. Let's go bandit hunting. <laughs> Very well. Time to pay a visit to Ortega. That swine must have his cave somewhere here in the coastal region. Let me know when the fun is going to start. Soon enough, my friends, soon enough. And anyways, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. This is the end of part one of the uh, City of Cape Dawn. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. And if you do subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you will be notified on whenever I upload a video, which is currently three videos a day. One at 8 a.m., 1 p.m., and 6 p.m. Um... It could be that it will ch be changed over time, you know, due to the high amount of videos that I currently already have. Um, I'm currently at 900 something out of the 730 that I actually need, which is good. Um, but it does also mean that despite being way ahead of schedule, um, you know, when as soon as the 25th of October hits the mark, the third year my channel will kick in, and that's where I will need 1,090 something videos, um, which will be easy achievable by only beating Gothic and the currently remaining videos on my YouTube channel. I'm currently at about 970 to about 980, so I'm way way ahead of schedule. And uh, it could mean that as soon as my third year kicks in, that, you know, let's say in a couple of months I already hit the mark. I will keep uploading videos on a daily basis, of course, but um, it could be that my schedule will be readjusted towards the requirement that I need. You know, sometimes I'm way behind when it comes to recording, then I upload more videos a day. And when I'm way ahead, um, which I currently already am, but still uploading three videos a day, I could decrease it. However, I'm not entirely sure on whether I should or should not decrease from three videos a day. Because if you ask me, I personally would love to upload eight hours of gameplay a day. However, I can't do that due to the fact that people get, might get annoyed with it. As well as the fact that I'm currently getting no money out of this whatsoever. And uploading 8 hours of content a day without getting paid leaves a little chance of, um, you know, working on other things like timestamping and what have you. So I currently cannot do that yet, but uh, there will be a time as soon as I get paid to do this where I will upload as much as I can, as many different games as I can, and as quickly as I can, because I do want to grow as a channel, I do want to get paid by doing this at some point, so that I can reinvest the money that I make into communities, 
gaming communities most likely at first to uh, hire people to do exactly the same now not as in hiring you know by paying you a certain amount of month um, for uploading one video a day no if I'm gonna pay you I suspect and I hope that those people that once I do invest into people they will upload as much as they can and not as least as they can because they have to you know I will not pay top price money for one video a day because things have to change the reason why I'm currently uploading multiple videos a day is due to the fact I have no intro, I have no outro, I don't do editing whatsoever, I just upload them as they go, and uh, therefore I upload more on average than the average YouTuber when it comes to a gaming channel. You know, the average YouTuber uploads one video a day um, when it comes to gameplay, some even upload once every couple of days, some you know upload once every week um, it all depends on whether you do or do not edit whether you do or not have an intro and outro and whether you do not uh, do make the timestamps and what have you yes the timestamps will eventually get me less minutes watch and thus less cash but the timestamps will make sure that people will subscribe to my channel more quickly because of the fact they can search things relatively quickly so yeah Thank you guys for watching, I hope to see you guys in part 2. I'm gonna quickly go to, to the store first in order to get my, you know, to check if my money is there, get myself some tobacco, and uh, food, and what have you. And uh, then we'll continue with the second part of Cape Dawn, where we're gonna, you know, deliver the goods to Ukras, the kill the hungry wolves, which is about three that I still need to kill up in the mountains. Um, deliver a couple of healing plants to the alchemist, not competing in the arena, um, but uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, if you like what you see, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, keep in mind I currently upload 3 videos a day, it could increase or decrease according to time, it depends on whether I can keep up with the amount of videos I upload currently a day, or not, you know, or whether I, some days, you know, I could take days off in order to either work on timestamps or just to rest out a bit you know but uh in the end my youtube channel will be a massive when it comes to gaming content the more games that i can get the better so if you have a game that i currently do not have yet on my youtube channel um let me know in the comment section down below of any game um of any video basically and if i have the game i will record it at some point slash stream it it depends you know and uh, upload it to my youtube channel just especially for you because in the end that particular game might not only get you as a new subscriber for my channel but also some other different people and uh, I need to grow I need to grow rapidly I need to grow fast and I need to be able you know to grow a community that find my content useful despite the fact that I have no intro no outro no, you know, editing nonsense whatsoever. But that, again, is the reason why I'm uploading three videos a day. If I did have to edit, I would only be able to upload about one to two videos a day. And I will never call one video a day work. Never. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I hope to see you guys in part two of Cape Dawn, where we're going to finish this area. And... Uh, go towards Montera and thus another step closer to entering the desert so thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next part or in the next episode if you want a different path um, you can also find that um, in my YouTube channel itself if you go to my playlist you will see Gothic 1 all three paths Gothic 2 all three paths now Gothic 3 the third one as you can see is on the going and uh, Gothic 3 Forsaken Gods will follow, Gothic 4 will follow, and then Gothic 4 Fall of Satyrif, and then we're finally done with the Gothic series. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you guys in any of my future videos. Thank you guys once again, and I hope to see you guys next time.